Hey everybody, welcome back to Living Between Pages Kitchen. This is me, Jack, and today we are going to be making some sautéed pork chops. We're going to be sautéing them in olive oil with some minced garlic and minced onion. And we're going to be using our sweet pork seasoning with this as well. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so this one is extremely easy. We have three thick cut center loin pork chops. We have a tablespoon of minced onion, two large cloves of garlic, and then our wall of seasonings. We're going to go ahead and pour these on the old fashioned way. Once you have your pork chops laid out, just go ahead and start adding your favorite seasonings of choice. Now, I'll post my seasoning down in the description of what I use. I'm pretty, I like to go overboard with my seasonings, but you don't, you don't really have to do that. You can just go salt and pepper if you want. I'm not a big fan of salt, so I try to find other methods. I also like my pork and chicken to be a little bit sweet, so I'm using a bit of a sweeter seasoning mix here, which is weird because I'm using chili powder. Chili powder to me is sweet, don't know why. I'm also using some coarse black pepper some garlic powder, some onion powder, and some paprika. And we're just gonna cycle through all these until we get a nice bit added to all of it. And once you have it all added, go ahead and cool it off in the fridge for about 30 minutes or longer. Now try not to wait two days, but you can wait up to a day and it'll be okay. But here's a neat little bonus trick. So you know, sometimes when you're cutting pork chops and it cups up in the middle and you have a pain in the butt time trying to cook it all, that's because this outer fat layer, if you make slices in the outer fat layer, it won't do that, or it won't do it nearly as much. So yeah, just make one or two slices in it and you'll see less cupping. Okay, once you're done letting your pork chill, go ahead and put one or two tablespoons of oil in a pan and get it nice and warm. After a little while when your oil's hot, go ahead and see if it sizzles. If it sizzles, go ahead and add your pork to it. That means it's ready. Now for your pops, go ahead and turn it down so the heat's too high. Ideally, you don't want your oil to be popping all over the place. And then cook for about three minutes. It's been three minutes. We're gonna go ahead and flip our pork chops over. Be very careful not to drop it and some oil flying all across the kitchen. And we're getting a little bit of cupping, but not nearly as much as we would get if we didn't cut the fat. Now we're gonna go ahead and add our garlic in the middle. And we're going to add our onions in the middle as well. And we're going to let those saute. And we're going to cook for another three minutes. So it's been three minutes. It's not done. I checked it with the pro, but it's not. It's close. So I'm going to go ahead and flip them over so they can cook again on the other side. And we're going to give it a couple more minutes. And uh, when I check it with the probe and it comes out done, I'll get back to you. It's been about three more minutes. Our pork chops are now done. I'm just tossing around so you can see the other side. And just go ahead and turn off the heat. So about overall cook time is about nine, nine, 10 minutes. It's not hard to do. Now I added the onions and the garlic possibly a little bit too early. They did come out a little bit blackened, which is unfortunate. But if that's your thing, then that's great. I prefer them a little bit less blackened myself. So maybe adding the vegetables at the six minute mark or later might be good for you as well. So keep that in mind. And so yeah, there you have it. Sauteed pork chops. This is actually my preferred way to do them. I don't like battering them and frying them. It's it's such a pain to have to make the batter and put it on there. This is just a lot quicker. And to me, this actually tastes much better. I think it has a much better flavor when you saute them versus frying them with a coating. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. You can catch here Tuesdays and Wednesdays and Fridays and Saturdays. Man, I don't know why I have a hard time remembering four days of the week at seven. But yeah, um, thanks for watching, and we'll hope to see you next time.